Hi everyone and welcome back. This is the puzzle haul for the month of May. I got some puzzles, some gifted to me, some second hand, some new, uh, some I've been looking for for since forever. Um, the first two is uh, the gifts. The, the words that was used was a donation. So I'm so excited about this. This first one is uh, an Antolian with the name Zodiac by Ciro Marchetti. Um, it's my first Zodiac puzzle. And I was looking for the perfect Zodiac puzzle for the longest time. But because there is so many in the market, I wanted something special. And I couldn't choose a better one for my first Zodiac. So thank you for that. And then the second one is an RGS, a Reader's Corner, 1,500 pieces. Just look at that. The couch, the books, the puppy, the kitten on the couch. This is my type of space. I want to be there so bad. The next four is Anatolians. The first one was opened and previously assembled the last three is um, actually sealed so still brand new um an italian the engineer by jim Daly. isn't that just too beautiful cozy 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 this fireplace i think is on the other side of that couch i think that would be the perfect situation for me. Um, okay, so the next one is also Anatolian. This one is Spring in the Basket by Jan McLaughlin, it seems like. Look how beautiful that is. All that sunflowers. I think that umbrella is going to be somewhat of a challenge, but um, it's only a thousand pieces, so shouldn't be too bad. The next one also an Italian, a thousand pieces. Mould wine by Tricia Hardwick. Just look how beautiful that is. All the pretty flowers and the copper pot. Love it. Then the last one of the Anatolians is waiting. Waiting for Love by James Lee. That is such a romantic setting. Beautiful, beautiful puzzle. Also a thousand pieces. The next one is, um, I don't know, there's no brand, I think. Otherwise, unless it's this D-C-B-A-H-G-F-E. I don't know if this is a brand or not. But yeah, I'm not expecting too much about uh, quality for this puzzle. But just look at that image. It's so cute. I love it. And there's even a little mice in there. And a cardinal bird. It's just beautiful, beautiful. The next three is Ravensburgers. This one is... Um, Crazy Cat at the Caravan, Linda Jane Smith is the artist. A thousand pieces, just look at that. Playful kittens, absolutely love it. Love it. Then I've got two Disney um, Ravensburgers, which I don't have in my collection yet. The first one is from my childhood. I grew up on this, I absolutely loved it. The Lion King. How beautiful is that? All the animals. So I'm super excited about that one. And the next one is um, Enchanto. This is the most colorful Disney puzzle I think I've ever seen. And it's so beautiful. I can't wait. Thousand pieces Ravensburger. Can't wait to do that one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then uh, your RGS, which is a local brand to me. Usually they dominate my um, puzzle holes, but this month I only, except for the gifted one, I only got two more. And um, the first one is Paradise Island. 
Nice cartoonies, my type of puzzle. I love the cartoon puzzles. This one is not too busy like the Jan van Austrian, so it should be easy to assemble. 1,500 pieces. Very beautiful. The next one is Unicorn Dream, also RGS, 1,500 pieces. Look at that, all the butterflies. So beautiful, so colorful. I do not yet have an opinion if this will be difficult or if it will be easy, so we'll see. Next one I got is a Jan van Hostren Jumbo Puzzle. This is probably one of the very first Jan van Hostrens. The box doesn't look like they nowadays do. It's um, somewhat on the old side. The pieces are still in good quality. The image seems like a lot of fun. Um, the big leak. So there's some pretty bad water damage there. They are trying to keep under control. Very excited. Even though it's an old puzzle, I think it will be a great um, experience to assemble. Then the next one is an Educa. Um, thousand pieces. Also a unicorn. Educa. Uh, the princess and the unicorn. Oh. I just look at that. Another beautiful one. I... Um, might consider to put the two unicorns again in one video. I might think about that. The next one is a hay puzzle, 1000 pieces, cartoon classics by Blackon. The name of the puzzle is just surfing. Just look at that. All that detail. So many surfers in that ocean, so many people on that beach, but yeah, I won't mind being there for a day or two. Beautiful, beautiful puzzle. Then the next two is um, the ones that I've been looking for, for since forever. There's an artist on YouTube, or not, no, let me rephrase. There's an artist, puzzle artist in America named Chris Bigelow. He's got a YouTube channel and I saw his artwork there. I fell in love because most of the brands are not available to us here in South Africa. Um, I wasn't thinking I was ever going to get my hands on one of his puzzles. But Castorland also publishes his um, work in puzzle form and I was able to get not one but two of his puzzles. So the first one is um, Sailor's House. Um, 1,000 pieces. I'm very disappointed because of the thorough investigation, I can't find the name of the artist on the boxes for Castle Land puzzles. And um, I'm sad about that because I know now of the artist. So that's the first one. The second one I got is uh, General Merchandise, also by Chris Bigelow, Castle Land puzzle. And um, Look at all that detail. Isn't that beautiful? And again, the dog. Always, always needs to be a dog or a cat. We love it. Um, I'm going to link Chris's um, YouTube channel in the description below. Please go there, show him some love and appreciation for all the artwork that he puts out there. Even though it's not available to me, I do appreciate that the art is available in the world. So someday I might just get my hands on some of the other brands but i enjoy it um i'm so looking forward to assemble those two thank you chris if you are seeing this i appreciate it then the next one um this puzzle gave me headaches for days when i received the parcel it was wrapped in uh, plastic and um when I opened it, the whole puzzle was covered in the courier tape. There at the bottom, you can still see some of the tape. Um, I was so disappointed because the puzzle box to me is as much of the, um, part of the puzzle as the puzzle itself. So I prefer the boxes to be 
relatively in good order, even if they are old, it doesn't matter. Just take care of it. The the puzzle just deserves so much more respect. Um, the local Facebook group for the, uh, our puzzle community, they informed me to try the hair dryer, hot hair dryer to remove the tape. That actually worked. I'm so thankful I was able to salvage the um, box. Um, it is in a relatively good condition. So the story behind this one is also the same as the Zodiac. I've been looking for a map uh, puzzle since forever. Um, this is where the history of puzzles start, is with maps. So, and again, there's so many in the market. And I was looking for the perfect one that spoke to me. And um, this one, when I saw the image, I was like, yes, that's the one I want. That should be my first map puzzle. And um, just look at how beautiful that is. Hey, 6,000 pieces, panorama. So I'm so glad I managed to get the tape off. Um, I assume yeah, it, it says only the world. So I don't know if there's more of a, a name to this puzzle. I don't see an artist credited. But I'll look it up and when I get to the puzzle, I will definitely mention the artist um, if I am able to, um, to find it. That is my haul for the month of May. I appreciate you looking, watching the video. Um, for the gifts, the donated puzzles, I appreciate it so much. I can't thank you enough. I really, really appreciate it. They are beautiful. Thank you. Um, with regards to this one, if you send puzzles with courier or however, first put them in a black bag and then you wrap them. Don't damage the boxes. We love the boxes as much as the puzzle. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you watching and um, take care. I'll see you in the next one.